Okay, this is probably going to be my third video, I believe. To, uh, to Chance. And I'm just sharing a few scenes of the things I see around me on my walks as you shared some of your scenery with me this morning, which I thought was really cool. These are some of the views that I see in my daily routines. Uh, chance I checked out your video, like I said, and pretty much, man, what I see is you, uh, you're still on some kind of weird uh, witch hunt, man, to, uh, <laughs> to call a trav out or cause him aggravation or at least try to put up a, a scene like you are, and I don't think you are, I think it's some kind of weird ass test here, but uh, it's not likely, man, that I'm going to tell you anything about Trav that that you don't already know anyway. But I'm not going to sit here and tell you what me and him talk about. But we'll tell you some of the things we don't talk about. We don't talk about this damn orb of ages you seem to be so worried about. Which, uh, to me, man, I don't think is a big deal. But if you know something about it and you think it's a big deal, knock yourself out and study and seek. Try to find out what you can. You know, if it's worth you knowing, hell, maybe you can share it with the rest of us. As far as Dan and Marcy on the Eagles Disobey, I done already told you, man, I don't really frequent that board a lot at all. Maybe four or five times a year, man, I check out that board. Try talking on it. People don't get me. I'm too slow for them. They're, they're like uh, talking about microorganism type of shit and they're into that end of it, the nuts and bolts types of thing. It ain't my bag, bro. And it's, uh, it's, uh, it's not going to really, uh, uh, there, there ain't nothing I can help you with. I don't know shit about it to begin with. And what I do know is probably elementary. I do know there's a couple of videos on the link you had sent. And then, uh, that'll probably help you, man, more than, than what, uh, than what anything I could tell you about it. It seems to be pretty important. Oh, you want to, you want to label Chance a Witch for the people that travel the God Zone. I think that's a lot of bullshit. I think you want to turn people off the God Zone. I always kind of felt you did. I think the whole witch thing is all part of that reason. I think you brung it up. You made it very imagey with the photographs and with your pictures of your black hood and so forth. Because there's something on the God Zone you probably don't want the people to see. And I think that's probably got something to do with the fig tree. I think there's a mechanism. I think you probably are involved with that mechanism in the fig tree. And, you know, one thing about the, the God Zone, for all the filth and trash that's been posted on there there's been a lot of truth posted on there too and I'm starting to wonder if your your uh, your desire to make uh, the God's own look like a haven of witches uh, has much to do with keeping eyes off of certain posts that are logged in the annals of history we shall say and uh, and that's kind of that's kind of what I'm thinking and I'm not trying to you know get argumentative with which I'm just telling you what I'm thinking that's it's hard. I'm, a, I'm having trouble believing you really give a shit about it. Trav's a witch or not. With all the witches I'm sure you've rubbed elbows with on the net uh, to uh, to learn about their ways, you know, as, as how you said was your excuse for why you'd, you'd, you'd check those type of people out. But for whatever, I mean, it, to me it ain't no big deal. And it, to me you're making it a very big deal, which is another illusion. But it don't really matter, man. Uh, the board is what it is. It's going to stand for what it is. And uh, and uh, I'll probably have a, uh, make another video to talk to you uh, after this one. I got a few other things on my mind. But this is just going to cap off the hunt for Trav thing. Because, uh, you know, I don't think you're going to. This test that you're trying to put me through, uh, you know, just consider me past, I guess. If, you know, you got what the hell you're looking for. I'm not going to like lynch people in oh, some old timey witch hunt, you know, just to to make you happy. Uh, for the record, you know, I 
I think Trav was a cool person. He's always been cool with me. He's always been nice. Uh, he's always been helpful. And uh, the only person that's really been an asshole to me around here seems like his shoe these days. I mean, not of the lat the latest slate, but you know, certainly a month or so ago. Uh, you know, hell, anybody can be cultish, man. Anybody can behave cultish and still be a Christian, and still put out negative energies and cause things to to go south instead of going north. And you probably do that that type of thing a whole lot more than uh, than Bro Trav does. So, but like I said, you know, I have the I'm of the opinion that it's just some type of uh, diversion for you. You know, I think it's important for you and uh, maybe a few others to make the God Zone look like it's a haven for witches. And I'm thinking it's because there's a lot of stuff that is it's, uh, it's in there that ain't going nowhere, as far as I know, that shows certain routines and certain behaviors. And you know, I think it's helpful for people when they're swimming in the waters of the fig tree and the God Zone to help them decide who's who and what is what, which is the whole purpose of a witness anyway, isn't it? So anyway, man, that's about it for this vid, and I'm going to, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to make a couple of more vids talking with you about some other things. But uh, as far as the, the bro trap and the orb of ages, man, let the orb of age thing go. I mean, to me, if you really was into that kind of shit, you know, it might have a big meaning, and you might could gain a lot from it. If you want to be into that type of stuff, hey, you know where the, the board is, man, and you can read up on all that stuff but you know as far as I'm concerned man that's that's so far beyond what we should be focusing on in this day and age considering what time of day it is and what's about to take place on this earth I mean the orb of ages and, and those type of things is probably the last thing that the soul needs to keep its eye on I think there are some important things that the soul needs to be doing absorbing some of the mysteries codes and beautiful things that are implanted in the Word of God would probably be, I would say, first and foremost on everybody's uh, attention attention span right now. So, uh, so I'm gonna end this video, man, and then, uh, I'll talk to you later.